Hey laser enthusiasts, here to show you how to do some fun things with tumblers. Everybody loves tumblers. They're very easily customizable. Um, there are two styles that we can do. We can do a seamless, which goes all the way around where there's no edges. The other way, which I think is probably even cooler, is having lots of gaps in our artwork so that as long as the artwork isn't hitting itself, you can't tell where it starts or ends. Here we're gonna try to do a seamless one. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we wanna measure the circumference. Now, whether you're set in uh, centimeters or inches, you just wanna get, get that relative circumference, 10 and 7 eighths. We'll take note of that, because we'll put that into uh, the software so that when this rotates, it knows exactly how far to go around. So first thing we need to do is uh, get this lined up in the chuck. Now one thing that we wanna do with these is we wanna make sure that our tumblers are actually straight in the chuck. And I'm just rotating this to see if the cup jostles any which way or pivots and just adjusting it until I get it to where it doesn't pivot anymore. And it's just seamless in one full rotation. I'm gonna go ahead and lock this down by tightening it. At the front of the laser here, there's these two wonderful lines that X-Tool provides that allows us to align the rotary tool to the laser. So we just take those guidelines and set the edge of the rotary tool so that it's, it matches up to those two guide points. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to make sure that our height adjustment is perfect. Now there's these two laser dots here, a blue and a red one. And I'm just gonna raise the print, or the print head, the laser head until those two dots overlap. Once they overlap, I know that I have the proper height. All right, so now we're gonna pull up our interface. We're gonna go in here and upload our image, which I have as plants. We're gonna keep the original size. Rotate 90 degrees. We need to go into modes and we need to change this into the rotary attachment. We're gonna set this for chuck, cause that's what we have uh, mounted. Now here's where we're going to type in our, per our perimeter or our circumference. We can go back to the artwork and then we're going to align to the right and to the top. I'm also going to increase and just make it a little taller on the cup. Now for our settings for engraving we're going to we're going to set this to 80% power. Speed, we're just going to max it out. And we're going to go two passes. And then we're going to set lines per inch to 300. The more lines, uh, the finer detail you're going to get. I like to do two passes on tumblers, basically two grind, and then come back with the infrared and polish it with the infrared just to smooth it out. So it's three passes in total. We'll run this a total of two times, two with the blue and then one with the infrared laser. Um, one other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Unite on the artwork. The laser's gonna see it as one giant piece rather than burning every little individual piece and then going back. We just want it to rotate one smooth motion. Now I wanna check and make sure that my placement left and right, when I shoot this, I'm not shooting at the top, like up here, that it's gonna be more centered on the tumbler do that i'm just going to hit frame and then i'm going to adjust the la the rotary tool left and right make sure that we're even across the front let that do a full rotation is a little sharpie on your tumbler if you look where the dot is that's like where your starting point so just put a little dot right on the edge of the tumbler there that way when you do your measurements or you're trying to align your wraparound artwork like we did for this leaf design, which we're about to shoot here, I can see where that dot is. Wait for this to make a full rotation and see where that dot stops. So if the dot stops before the blue light, that means my, my artwork's a little short, or if the dot goes past, I might be a little too, too long in the artwork. So then I adjust it and then reframe to make sure that that dot lands in the same spot after a one full rotation. I might adjust this over just a little bit. Once we have this placed the way we like it and it's framing correctly, we're gonna go ahead and just go to process. 
wait for it to prepare the view. We're gonna hit start and there it is. And then we just press the blinky light. And now that it starts, we're gonna try not to bump the table at all. This is gonna take about 30 minutes for its rotation. Now it is gonna do two passes. So that's 30 minutes per pass. And then we're gonna come back and shoot it one more time with the infrared just to clean it up and polish everything. You can probably see a lot of blue light underneath here. This is the point where you don't wanna sit here and stare at that blue light. You guys are cool though with that camera though. Staring at it through the shield is okay. Staring directly at that blue light can damage your eyes, so try not to stare at it. I know it can be a little hypnotic. As this is running, we have it pumping through the filter that you can get through X-Tool. It's little handy tools to have, especially if you're working indoors. These tumblers can be a little smelly because we are burning the paint off of them. Having the filtration unit with it does help elim eliminate that smell. It's not 100% effective, but it is definitely better than nothing. Take it off the shield and then loosen up the chuck, pull it off. There's still a little bit of some overlap on this, but it looks like we have an overlap about two millimeters. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the computer and fire it again. Wow, that turned out really well and it is completely seamless now. I'd call that a success. I'm really digging these. I know some uh, sales reps downstairs are gonna really love these. You know, be sure to uh, like and subscribe in the comments below. Let me know what you want me to do next. I am really excited myself. We just got a bunch of new lasers like the M1 Ultra. I can't wait to get my hands on that. If you know somebody that would really appreciate this video or benefit from it, be sure to share it with them. Again, my name is Daryl. They call me the wizard because I'm insane.